And developing now, it was called a crime of passion. A Portland man stabs and kills his longtime partner. Quinn Local 6 reporter Brent Weisberg is live at the Multnomah County Courthouse with more on today's sentencing of Stephen Abbott. Amy, good afternoon. Originally, a Multnomah County grand jury indicted Stephen Abbott on one count of murder, but prosecutors today told us why they decided in part to settle this case. They say that they learned that he had been sexually abused as a child. But that itself does not explain why he killed his longtime partner. The death of Scott made no sense to anyone. Catherine Delaney remembers her brother Scott Bram. Scott was a loving and giving man. Scott's life ended without explanation almost a year ago. We have no closure at all for all the burning questions in our mind like, is Mr. Abbott even sorry he took Scott's life? The answers that Scott's family had hoped for today still remain unclear. Stephen Abbott, the man who confessed to stabbing his boyfriend of more than 10 years today, could not bring himself to apologize. Steve loved uh, Scott unconditionally as well. His attorney did, though, calling Abbott a man of few words. He is truly sorry for what happened, and there's no explanation when someone has a crime of passion. It was this time last year that Abbott stabbed Scott to death in the back of this garage in southeast Portland. That day became the most devastating day in all of our lives. Only Stephen Abbott knows why he killed his partner. Friends say that the two really were in love. They always went fishing and never seemed to fight, which made Scott's death even harder to comprehend. I pray that our family will begin the healing process today. Well, Stephen Abbott's family was in court. They did not want to talk about this case, but I did speak with his daughter over the phone late last week, and she told me that the entire family really is just in shock about this whole case. Reporting live downtown, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin Local 6.